Alexis was one of our first teenagers. She was at our very first youth service in March of 2015, and she's been around ever since. Um, I always tell her that she has this anointing to bring people together. She has brought more friends and people through the doors of the church than any other teenager and probably any other adult. She just has a boldness to invite people. And I just know that that spirit of invitation is going to be something that follows her and something that is just used in her life as she gets older. Um, and I just pray that she never stops inviting people to church and never stops inviting people to talk about Jesus and talk about what they believe in and never stops telling people what Jesus has done for her. Alexis has had to deal with a lot of things that a lot of teenagers shouldn't have to deal with and haven't, and she's done so with a lot of strength and grace. I know this, as she gets older, she's going to see a reason for some of those things that she's gone through, and she's going to see how she gets to change other lives because of her own story and her own testimony. Alexis, in the past two years that you've come back into the church, I'm very proud of you and how strong that you've grown in Christ and how just smart of a person you are. I can remember all just the countless sleepovers where you would not get to my house till like 11 at night, but you'd always bring me cookout or just some sort of food. And we'd stay talking for what we thought was like an hour. And then we'd look at our phones and it was 3 a.m. on a Sunday morning. And we would go to church sleep deprived and we just have a lot of fun at all of our sleepovers and I'm gonna miss those. You know, Alexis, I still remember those days when you babysat me. And like, I had my six pack and you wouldn't let me take my shirt off, Doug. And I was just like, why? So, I remember those days, going off to college. See you later. Alexis, um, I haven't known you for that long, but I remember the first time I met you, and we just like clicked like really fast. Like, I remember I started working with you like the next couple of days, and over these past couple of months, we've gotten to know each other a lot, and I'm so happy to have you as a friend. So congratulations on graduating. Since I first met you, I was uh, I was uh, I was like kind of scared because the first time I met you, uh, you just like came up and hugged me, and I was like, oh hi, random stranger. <laughs> and but then you really welcomed me into the church. And then we got closer over the years, and every time we hang out, we always laugh, we always have a good time, and. I'm proud of you and congratulations on graduating. I just wanted to say that I'm really proud of you, Alexis, for graduating. It's the next big step in your life and I just want um, you to know that God is going to be with you in all of the next chapters of your life that happen after high school because there's a lot more to see. So Alexis, let's talk about Alexis. I can't really remember the first time I met Alexis. I feel like she's always been there. Seen her grow as a uh, wonderful young lady of God and now growing into being a wonderful woman of God. My prayer for her future is that she never, never loses the hope that really is the anchor for our souls and that she just continues to keep her eyes on Christ and seek what He wants her to do with her life. And I am absolutely confident that when she does that, that there's nothing that can stop her, no one that can bring her down. No, or no one that can tell her that she can't do it because when she's walking in her purpose, that's when she's just gonna thrive. And we've seen that and we're starting to see that and I'm just really proud of her for persevering and really excited for the next stages in her life and to see what it holds now that she's an adult and kind of gets to step out and make her own choices and she's just gonna fly. Pop-up tour guide, congratulations, graduation.